In recent years, cryptocurrencies have taken the financial world by storm and is fastly becoming the part of global economic system. Today, there are over a thousand cryptocurrencies in existence. In this video we will learn about cryptocurrency in detail. A currency is money in any form when in use or circulation as a medium of exchange, especially banknotes and coins, used in a country. A cryptocurrency is a digital or virtual currency that uses cryptography for security. It typically does not exist in physical form, like paper money, and is typically not issued by a central authority. Cryptocurrencies use decentralized technology to let users make secure payments and store money without the need to use their name or go through a bank. They run on a distributed public ledger called blockchain, which is a record of all transactions updated and held by currency holders. Blockchain is the use of codes that differentiates cryptocurrencies from other virtual currencies. The uses of cryptocurrency are, purchase of products and services, money transfers and cryptocurrency tipping, get paid in cryptocurrency, investment opportunities. The different kinds of cryptocurrencies are Bitcoin, Libra, Ethereum, Ripple, and Litecoin, Namecoin, Swiftcoin, Bytecoin, and Gridcoin. The most important kind of cryptocurrency is Bitcoin as it is very expensive. Now let's study why is Bitcoin so popular globally. What is a Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a type of digital currency that enables instant payments to anyone. Satoshi Nakamoto proposed Bitcoin, which was an electronic payment system based on mathematical proof. Bitcoin was introduced in 2009 and is based on an open source protocol and is not issued by any central authority. Bitcoin is a peer-to-peer -peer currency. Peer-to-peer -peer means that no central authority issues new money or tracks transactions. These tasks are managed collectively by the network. Bitcoin is the first decentralized digital currency and first example of a growing category of money known as cryptocurrency. Bitcoins are digital coins you can send through the internet. Bitcoins are transferred directly from person to person via the net without going through a bank. No single institution controls the Bitcoin network. This puts some people at ease, as it means that a large bank can't control their money. Bitcoins are available in Bitcoin exchanges. One can purchase Bitcoins from other users, or through exchanges with local currency, mining, by selling something and get Bitcoins in return. Mining is an activity aimed at creating a cryptocurrency and or validating cryptocurrency transactions between a buyer and a seller. Examples of how Bitcoins are in use today, to purchase video games, gifts, books, servers and alpaca socks, several currency exchanges exist where one can trade their bitcoins for dollars, euros etc and it works greatly for small businesses and freelancers to get noticed. There are number of advantages of bitcoin, low transaction fee, ownership of currency, identity protection, risk free for sellers, security of transactions, free flow and cross-border accessibility etc. Along with pros, there are certain cons of Bitcoin as well, volatility i.e. exchange rates of cryptocurrency can vary greatly, difficult to access for rural population who do not have access to internet or education, black market activity, unregulated cyber hacking, no refund. You must have also heard about another kind of cryptocurrency namely Dogecoin, which has a market capitalization of 7 billion dollars and a huge global following. Let's find it out how? What is Dogecoin? Dogecoin was a parody cryptocurrency created in 2013 by software engineers Billy Marcus and Jackson Palmer. It was created as a faster alternative to Bitcoin. The starting of Dogecoin was as a satire on the numerous fraud crypto coins that had sprung up at the time. Dogecoin takes its name and logo from a Shiba Inu meme that was viral several years ago. Bitcoins fixed the maximum possible number as 21 million. It is a figure that is estimated to be reached by 2040. But the Dogecoin numbers do not have an upper limit and there are already more than 100 billion in existence. 
The main reason believed to be behind Dogecoin's rise is its listing on Coinbase. Coinbase is the most popular virtual currency exchange in the US. Coinbase's market briefly hit $100 billion after it went public, and the values of Bitcoin and Ethereum touched $64,000 and $2,500, respectively. The reason behind its current success is said to be a Reddit group called Satoshi Street Bets, where members built up an enthusiasm for the cryptocurrency. Concerns about Dogecoin are cryptocurrencies can be highly volatile and may crash as fast as they rise. This is because they do not have any intrinsic value such as land or gold. They are also susceptible to manipulation by small groups who often hold large numbers of virtual currency in circulation. The investors have also expressed fears that Dogecoin's rise would lead to a bubble, given that buyers do not see any meaningful value in the digital token. Elon Musk who is the founder, CEO, and chief engineer at SpaceX. CEO, and product architect of Tesla Inc. a centibillionaire, Musk is one of the richest people in the world. Now you must be wondering, why are we being a gold digger and talking about Elon Musk here? It is because Elon Musk is the reason behind the great surge in Bitcoin prices and was lately trapped in controversy related to Bitcoin. Bitcoin plunged as much as 17% after Elon Musk tweeted Tesla Inc. had stopped accepting Bitcoin to purchase its vehicles due to environmental concerns. The price of the world's largest cryptocurrency dropped from around $54,819 to $45,700, its lowest since March 1, in just two hours following the tweet. Musk in his tweet expressed concerns about rapidly increasing use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining and transactions, especially coal, which has the worst emissions of any fuel. The digital currency is created when high-powered computers compete against other machines to solve complex mathematical puzzles, an energy-intensive process that currently relies on electricity generated with fossil fuels, particularly coal. Tesla's announcements earlier this year, that it had bought $1.5 billion of Bitcoin and that it would accept it as payment for cars has been one factor behind the digital token surging price this year. Musk further added that the Tesla would not sell any Bitcoin and would resume accepting Bitcoin as soon as mining transitioned to more sustainable energy. Elon Musk's reverse course about the Bitcoin resulted in a lot of tension coupled with huge loss to the investors. This sudden decision by Elon Musk is also considered as unethical. When we talk about our own nation, we see, the past year has seen a surge in the number of cryptocurrency investors in India and in trading volumes. Cryptocurrency exchanges such as Coindesk and CoinSwitchGear. An earlier government bill on cryptocurrency in 2019 reportedly sought to ban cryptocurrency and criminalize its possession in India. However, it was not introduced in Parliament. Bill also says that there will be a regulation to help RBI create its own CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency. The bill may spark an end to the nascent cryptocurrency industry in the country. The 2019 bill bans the use of cryptocurrency as legal tender or currency. It also prohibits mining, buying, holding, selling, dealing in, issuance, disposal or use of cryptocurrency. The government wants to ban cryptocurrency because of the market volatility, risk insecurity, malware threats, money laundering, regulatory bypass, power consumption etc. In a landmark decision, the Supreme Court ruled that RBI's circular placement ban on cryptocurrencies is illegal and will be lifted on March 2022. The RBI has clarified that as per a 2020 Supreme Court order, its sold circular banning payments related to cryptocurrencies is no longer valid. Cryptocurrencies are not illegal in India but, they are not regulated. This means that you can buy and sell Bitcoin, even hold it as an investment but, there is no governing body to look after or protect it. In this video, we have given a balanced opinion about cryptocurrency with its pros and cons to make it easy to understand.